Okay, this is hopefully going to be a very, very quick one. Um, I've bought a AM transmitter uh, with the intention of increasing the usability and potential lifespan of my AM classic radios. Um, but this is one of these kits where you've got to sew it together yourself. So the chances of this working are about 50-50 comes with a comes with a battery pack as well set of instructions right see you in a few hours no doubt ok so the instructions are exclusively in Chinese it would appear um, but there is a uh, a circuit board there, um, circuit layout there, schematic, and there's um, a layout of the actual board showing you what components need to be in which holes. Um, I'm assuming this is rather straightforward. I'm assuming there's an oscillator, which I'm going to guess is that one there, and then the oscillator will be attenuated, probably, yes, through this transistor here. So there's only actually, it would appear, three transistors that make it work. Um, yeah, that must be a volume control, bias. Yes, yeah, so that's basically an attenuator, which gives you the amplitude uh, modulation. And this will be the oscillator um, through a pair of um, ganged variable capacitors, no doubt. Simple power light decoupling. Very, very simple. Well, two minds about which is the best way to do this. I think I think, this, I think the method I'm going to use is to assemble a little tiny bit, solder that, and then move on to the next bit. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the best way of doing this. Well, I'll put it together. I mean, the, the quality of the board and the components is excellent, it would appear, and it went together without any issues. Um, generous oversupply of parts. Um, in case I do something wrong, but all I can do now really is uh, power it up. I've got a rudimentary check over to make sure there's no short circuits on it. But here we go. Okay, so I'm ready to go. So this is my Murphy valve radio, which um, this is primarily what I'm intending on using to listen to the stuff. So switch it on. There's no indication on this that it's running. You just gotta wait for the for the valves to warm up. Mark, uh, as, as Steve alluded to there, uh, through their own performances, they've got themselves at the top table of the Nations League and they're just coming up a little bit short at the moment. You throw that a horrendous injury list right, there that we go. has taken out a load of their key So now all I've got to do is switch Tierney this on. Hickey, John McGinn, Nathan Patterson, Lewis Ferguson, guys that would almost certainly be in and around the starting 11. Um, and throw into that as well, I so think, a little if bit I can of a hangover. See if we can find it. That's it. The football teams have all. Let's find somewhere a bit quiet. There we are. Let's try tuning this in. That didn't work. That's somewhere in the middle.
a bit of Kate Nash which I quite like um, so it works but obviously it's got to be very close I mean just having it here was enough to make it sound a bit naff so it's got to be so it must be a very 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 low power transmitter um, but the fact but this is, this is all it's got to do if it just sits next to it and it works then Yeah. 